Ayo, what is up everybody? It's your boy Wildcat Boulder. Welcome back to a brand new video for you guys here today. And today guys, we are now in the next episode of Arkazuko Season 4, baby. And like I've always said, every single time we've done what you should already know by now. If you guys have not watched my previous episode of I've done on Argusuko, I'm gonna highly encourage you guys, please go check it out. But yes, guys, on my episode of Argusuko today, we're now in episode two. Very, very excited to check it out today. And yeah, guys, last episode of Argusuko, it was very, very frustrating, man. Very, very frustrating. Not in the sense that it was a bad episode, it was actually pretty good. We basically got a recap of last season of what happened Resco. Uh, you know, she retired from OTM. And it looks like too, she's taking like self-defense courses or martial arts or something like that because uh, it looks like she's really going at it because I understand why if y'all remember last season she was attacked by that stalker who almost basically took her out yeah I can see she's taking it very very seriously plus I would think she would because she's very short and I don't think even though she's got a heavy metal voice I'm pretty sure she can't fight back but from the looks of it it looks like she's doing very very uh, well at it so Foster. But also, man, Haida, bro. Haida, man. I, I, I don't even know what to say about this boy. His feelings towards Resco are again, like he just, he, he doesn't know what he wants. He's, he wants to be with Resco, and yet he doesn't put the effort in. And also, Resco is trying to understand his situation with Haida. Again, it's very complicated, but honestly, Haida, bro, he needs to step up. Like, bro, you're getting this golden opportunity to hang out with Red Skull and really spend time with her. Even doing that whole confession spiel you did in season three about wanting to be by her side and stuff like that. Bro, last episode, like he just dropped the ball so, so many times. Even Fenneco is realizing it too, man. And Fenneco, let's be honest here, has been helping out our boy, even though Haida doesn't see it. Fenneco has been really helping him out the most to really get with Red Skull. Like, I don't, I, I don't, I don't understand. It's better the first episode, so I'll give it a pass. Maybe today's episode will be better. So yeah, but like I said, if you haven't seen that episode, please go check it out. Today, guys, you're now in episode two. So without further ado, enough of my talk, you subscribe to the video, unless you got episode two of Argus Go. Here we go. All right, Haida. All right, Haida. <laughs> Come on, man. Trying to really be positive for him, man. This is his time. Get with Fesco, please. I ship you with her. Hey, good evening to ya. I'm calling because I have a reservation for 7.30. Huh? Oh, it's under Haida, yeah. Okay. Oh, you're gonna laugh. I had something come up last minute. Huh? What be? It's gonna cost me the full amount? Oh, God, bro. Cool. Something come up? Hey, uh, hypothetical question here. Can I swing high and just get it to go? Ooh. Uh. Is that CEO? That's the guy, the one in charge, the CEO, I think. Hey, wait! What the? Ooh. Oh, no. I, I'm sorry, I have to call you back. Okay. Oh, you're right. Here we go, guys. Episode two. Oh, that's the villain for season four, I believe. You're from the company as well, I take it. Yep. So where is he? He's up on the third floor. Want me to take you? But don't bother. I can find a way. Thank you. Come on, he looks like a freaking villain, man. He has that voice. Oh, hi, Jimmy. Oh, what's up? Good evening. Any luck? I finally got through to his wife. She's heading here as we speak. Oh, okay. Okay. That's good at least. You did one good thing, Haida. What a start to the weekend. Yep. So much for your Friday night. Hey, don't worry about me. No plans. I'm good. Bro, you were the Red Skull. Hold up. Who was that guy ahead of you? Mr. Himuro, the outside director. Himuro, I'm okay. I'm guessing you don't know him? No, no, not yet, not yet. <laughs> oh, Himuro, wow. Okay. I hope he gets well soon. Mm. Is he gonna be in the hospital for long? Hard to say, but I doubt he'll be back for a while. He'll be fine. He was very lucky. If Haida hadn't called for help, who knows what could have happened? What? What could have happened? Haida actually saw the CEO collapse. Ended up spending half the night at the hospital. Mm. That was on Friday? Yep. I thought he had plans with a friend that evening. That's what he told me. He told me he had nothing going on. 
So, hi there. What are you hiding, my boy? Huh? Huh? Okay. Come on, man. Come on, bro. And that's the tale of how I randomly found the CEO that night. It was stressful, not gonna lie. Maybe I had that same This guy's lying, bro. Terrible liar. Because you know what else? My friend called up out of nowhere and said he has to kill. So honestly, what are the odds? Mm. Since my buddy flicked on me, I could wait at the hospital. Well, that's good. Uh, she don't want to get that shit. That seems legit, right? Nope. You could have just said you were worried about the CEO and skipped the part about the flaky friend. Damn, Ida. She's calling you out, bro. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> He didn't have plans with anyone. I knew he was lying to me. I think he did, though. Honestly, she it was way better than I was expecting. Could have sworn I heard your secretary split your head open with an axe kit. <laughs> what a whopper of a rumor. I bet I know who started it. Who? I mean, it's gotta be Colin, right? <laughs> Seems like 90% of the crazy crap I hear starts with <laughs> And there was the one about you and Simone having a steamy office place. I don't know where she gets this. <laughs> I mean, women are drawn to me. <laughs> nah, I'm just not going to do that. Oh. He a fan man now. Okay. Mm. Should I call you a nurse? <laughs> mm. Poor Miss CEO. I've been thinking about the past a lot as I lie in this bed. It's hard to believe how young and vibrant we used to be. Yep. All this ah, work getting my old. Then, but we always got rewarded for it, so we didn't care. It's a tough job, man. Won, but those days are behind us. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's time I retire. Consult a bit. Retire? I think I'll pass the baton. To Himuro, maybe. Damn. My oh boy, get it in there. What the hell? Why is freaking Himuro getting bumped up to CEO when I'm right freaking here? Up for this, thank you. Why, did you see that boy? The boy was freaking flexing. I'm not gonna lie, man. He really. <laughs> Just saying, man. He really looked like he was ready, ready for war. Regarding the nomination by our old CEO. That Himuro replace him as the company's top executive. If anyone should object, you can raise your hands and let it be known. I object! I object! The names seem to have it. What a shocker. This matter is officially. A moment, if you please. Our current CEO oh, is connecting remotely. Hey, everybody. You oh. agree with that? <laughs> how? Of course. Oh, you got suck ups. I'm gonna suck ups. Look, Kabai, I know for a fact that they didn't rush him to the hospital because of an axe kick to the head. You have to cut it out with these weird rumors already. <laughs> I mean, that's beyond. see my group? What? Uh, the minutes from the board meeting they had three days before they took him to the hospital. Right here, look at an axe kick while she just made her finishing move. See, all of it happened just like I told you. I am not going to win this argument. Yeah, probably not. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy's going off the deep end with this stuff. Well, duh. Conspiracy theories are like catnip for old people. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be like that. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna be like that. Hi, We're about to eat our lunch as slow as we can. You want in? Uh, huh? Well, uh, yeah. Bro, what is your deal, Hina? Later. Too much to do. Wait. Bro. See ya. Oh my god, bro. I'm getting frustrated with you, bro. I really am. Come on. Oh. Mm. Bruh. Hina, bro. Come on, man. Come on. <laughs> He's very organized. I thought you might like a cup of tea. Very astute of you. Yeah. Keeman, right? It's a little early in the season to be drinking it, but the flavor is robust. Huh? You brewed this with care. Yeah. Yeah, she did. Unless it's not Keeman to begin with. 
You're correct. I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> Why, hello! We came to say hi! <laughs> this guy. I guy's face. I guess this new office really becomes you, Hibido, sir. Anything we board directors can do to help smooth this transition, you just let us know and we will take out our very lives if they may! Oh my god, <laughs> chill out. Jesus. so funny, my sea legs. But I look forward to our new dynamic. Okay. Now then, have a wonderful day! Mr. Tone, what's he doing here? Tone from accounting, sir. Wanted to congratulate you on the big promotion. Mm -hmm. I've been here a while, almost 30 years under the last CEO. Yeah. Frankly, the company's been taking it up. Oh no! Oh. As a numbers guy, I see which way the wind is blowing. And if I do that, that means something. Not to cry wolf, but the fate of the company is on the line. You're the one in the big chair now. <laughs> From the bottom of my heart, I'm asking you to save this place. Ooh. I don't think you should have done that though. That's the guy's organization. Tell me something, Yes. What do you think is the most important ability for the head of an organization? I'm not sure. What Hard to say. Yeah, what would it be? I'm curious too. It's the power to discern those who are obedient and those who aren't. Oh. Hey, he says some cheddar. Pay me no mind. This is probably where he's going to start firing people or giving them lay layoffs or whatever. Okay, maybe. Come on, dude. And yeah, they're chilly tonight. Don't you think so? Hmm. I don't like this, bro. I don't like this. Well, homework down. Yep, sounds good. Thanks for coming with. Hi, yeah. old, bro. Do something. Do something. About last Friday night. <laughs> Damn. Uh, I think it was meeting with someone. Maybe it was too quick to judge. Escorting your princess. <laughs> Damn, I gotta go. <laughs> she already knows. You me like you did your Rusco date. <laughs> what makes you think I did? I called up the restaurant, Mr. No Show. I can't believe you paid them a cancellation fee. <sighs> Don't bust my chops. Yeah. It's what I do. Maybe you was supposed to meet someone there, but I don't know who could have been. Could be anyone. <laughs> Half a decade. Five years, bro. Okay, now I've just been some guy she sees at work. Exactly. I'm finally on the threshold. Choking. One step forward, dude. That's all you gotta take. Like, you wanna go bro, out let's go, yeah? Duh. You've got this. You can find a couple of you, man. Even if we get together. Yeah. How long before I mess it up? Huh? This, what? Half a year? Two months? <laughs> Maybe I really mess up and we're done in two weeks. Friends, You're gonna start crying, bro. Whoa, 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 whoa. No more of that. Don't. It's all finally coming together. Girls can like you, Haida. Inui did. Yes. <laughs> Inui's got nothing to do with it. Huh? Huh? What? What you mean? Retsuko isn't normal. Yeah, she is, dude. So are you. Hey, well, Retsuko I'm... isn't normal. She's like not in what normal. way? All the ways. Think about it. She rejected Sedano, was brilliant and rich. She became an idol by accident in the time it takes me to blink. Yeah. She's amazing and I'm just some guy. What I'm trying to say is that I don't care, you dummy. Hmm? <sighs> yeah, right. Fine, you're just some guy. Happy now? Why it's finally you're kicking in. At work. You don't have any cool hobbies. You're lame and smelly and a tryhard. But even so. You're a step away from maybe getting what you want for once in your damn life. I know, You're man. Looking for excuses to wuss out. You are so lame. You know that? That's right. No, okay. Yell at him, bro. Yell at him. Get his ass. He needs that. It's as if Retsuko is a light. The brightest one I've ever seen. She's surrounded by all these people who are so captivated by her. What if 
I'm just another nobody in the crowd. Bro, this is your life. <sighs> he's very easily better. Don't start crying, bro. Don't start crying, bro. Don't not start crying. Oh, This helpless romantic, bro. I don't. Look at little Haida Jr. You gonna cry? <laughs> yes. That's what happens when you drink. Who's that? He's on the CEO, right? He moves. He used to be the outside director. Pretty fancy bumping him up to the top spot. This guy's the real deal. Uh huh. He has an MBA. He has a BA? <laughs> You need to chill out with that, Michael. I think that's a really good idea. Why is he looking? I don't know. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Take him something. I'm going to seriously cover my face. Oh, my God, man. hospital lobby last Friday evening. Oh. <laughs> Had a bit of a promotion since then. I'm Himero. Oh, uh, congrats. Glad you're on the team. Thanks for that. I gotcha. Oh, okay. Alright, alright. Okay, okay, okay. So what did I think of episode two of Argusuko? Good episode, very frustrating, also very funny too. As we saw from this episode, uh, the CEO of the accounting department has officially retired and he's also made uh, Himido the person in charge of it now. Gonna be interesting because from what the trailer we saw that Himido is basically the villain of season four. It pretty much looks like it. Also too, man, props out to Haida, man. He saved the CEO's life, bro. Even though, you know, if he didn't notice it, he probably would've died. From all we can tell, uh, Himeno is gonna be, you know, the main villain for season four, and he's also gonna be the one that's gonna possibly save the department. But from what we saw, I'm pretty sure he's gonna be transferring people, firing people. Again, just from the trailer, it looks like he's gonna be doing that, so we'll have to see. Honestly, man, Haida's like very, very frustrating, bro. Like, I don't, I don't get this dude. I don't know what he's trying to do. He wants to have a relationship with Retsuko, but he's too scared to like, take cross the line and basically try to get with her. I don't know what's going on. Ada is right about one thing though, that Resco is not a normal girl. She was an OTM girl and she was even dating to Dono at one point. But what I don't understand, bro, is why are you not taking the steps to like really ask Resco out or have a relationship with her. I don't get it. Bro, Haida, you have to step up, bro. Like, dude, like, I don't get it. Yeah, man, but I'm very interested to see what uh, Himido and Haida are gonna be doing in season two. From what we saw uh, in the episode and in the trailer that these two are gonna be having a good friendship and bond. But I got a bad feeling Himido is gonna take Haida down the wrong path and probably do something bad to him. So yeah, episode two is really good. I enjoyed it for the most part. And if you've not seen it, please go check it out. But since I want to thank y'all for watching this video. If you like, please don't forget to favorite and subscribe. I will be doing more reactions in the future. So if you have anything you want to check out in the future, please let me know in the comment section down below. But uh, yeah, it's been your boy, Rockcat Bolt. I'll see you all later.